Hi friends, welcome all a very very good uh, evening to us in this video. In this video, we are going to say about uh, regarding market basically. And I think this has been a talk of this town uh, budget, budget and budget. But keeping those points away from budget, right? I mean, each and everyone can discuss about budget. But if you have been uh, following us regularly, you would be known that usually say that during the fourth week of Jan, the market tends to lose a lot. And market tries to hit a peak during January 3rd week and the last week there will be fully market fall due to the pressure called uh, the budget thing etc. Right. But this time particularly there are two or three more factors that need to carry out because now the basic content here is that how could the market trajectory could flow from here without the inclusion of budget effect. Right. Because no one knows how the budget can impact the market in such a way that but I have certain things to discuss with you which I think is going to be very important so that it would give an idea regarding how could the market position itself in the days coming by right from 61,000 points up to 57,000 points the market fall that we had in the past week it has been so detrimental that we had a drastic fall in the many share prices right each and every small cap mid cap stocks even large cap stocks tanked at least from 10 percent to 40 percent depending upon the category do they belong right some shares the value picks has been sorted out and some shares where the company had excess valuation including the likes of paytm policy bazaar nika limited and etc etc many companies have fallen down right now the next month will determine what's going to happen. Now, let us give me a small recap of what has happened in the previous year, the same time. Yes, the same time previous year, the market has fallen down and people are so scary. But the budget was so positive that the market shooted up like anything. And for a month previous year, the market ended up like anything, right? There was so much of foreign institutional buyers, etc, etc. And that was the thing that we had had. Okay. And now we are going to focus on two or more things. Could the budget effect be a bad thing for markets and how could the budget be for basically for the stock market and second thing fed is fed i mean us fed is in the type of increasing interest rate now this is, let us don't go into details basically what happens is the nature talk whenever the fed increases the rate the market tends to fall and whenever the rate is being at a maintained stabilized rate or at a less rate market tends to raise a lot due to the cash flows the companies are having I mean, to the cash flow the investors having in their hand, right? Now, usually we see RBS or in many other central banks follow this kind of things what the US Fed is doing. U US Fed means the kind of RBA that we have seem applies to US, right? Whatever US Fed do for their country, same thing will be followed in many countries, right? In order to maintain an equilibrium in the economy. Now, this budget basically I don't know how the outcome is going to be but I believe basically this budget is going to be a bit of positive for equity investors. The one and the main thing that is keeping on in my mind is that this LSI IPO because such a huge IPO when it's going to come into the market and people are saying that the company may raise 90,000 crores, some are saying 75,000 crores, some are saying 1 lakh crore. But each and everything you say that disinvestment value is going to be one of such higher, higher valuation or higher ever stock uh, IPO that we had. I mean that the record was coal India. It was broken down by Paytm raising 18,000 crores. And from that, if LIC is going to raise such a kind of one for the equity market, People should not have a fear that the market is going to fall because if there is going to be a fear then the LIC IPO would not pass through or would not sail through because even though if we have many institutional players who, who can pump in such a large amount of money we need retail participation also and if you if you, if you notice the LIC, I mean LIC ads saying that open a DMAT account and connect with this so that you could get a discount for your policies during this LIC IPO application right if, if you put all these things together and if RB is going to raise the interest rate then the market is going, will fall definitely so there will be a deviation there will, I hope there will be a deviation from what US Fed has taken and what the Indian uh, what say Indian monetary policy community takes a different time but this is my basic thing process because when you want to pass through uh, such a large company's IPO 
basically a government company ipo and it's also a profitable company there's no doubt regarding it because it's such a huge level of the quantum of money that is involved that itself creates a bit of a very very cautious move that should be done in budget so basically according to me the last week has been a terribly hit week even though having a one week one day of leave for this republic day i think last week is yes, that should be a selling but the kind of selling that we had in the last week of the previous month i mean from the jan month it was so so heavy that it needs to be a shoot out in this was is going to be correct so put together all these facts together i believe somewhat february month there could be a shoot up in the market thank you friends and bye